Alright, welcome back, ladies, to the Grown Women's Table. Ladies, 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 it's your girl, Lori. Hey, girl, hey, how y'all doing today? I hope you guys are having a great and fabulous day. I'm going to wait for some of y'all to come on in. And for those that are catching the replay, thank you guys so very much. Hey, Rhea! Thank you guys for catching the replay every week. I see you. I see you. Rhea, how was your day? Trying to just do a little something with these brows. You know they disrespectful. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, not a hey. You guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. Nadia, have a great day. Hey, Lala. Hope you're having a great day as well. You guys, my stomach hurt. Hey, Shell. I overate today. Like, I did way too much. Came too much. Why does it? A man's emoji came up? For what? Hey, sister cousin. For me? Hey, Roberta. Let me put my concealer on. Y'all have really been liking my hourglass um, eye primer. I'm going to wait for, for um, some more people to come in, and uh, we're going to talk about the collab, and um, our topic for tonight is karma. Um, oh, oh, when you push, oh, I don't know. They just trying to run everything, ain't they? We can't even have an emoji. Like, give us an emoji, please. Can we get an emoji? Hey, Ashley. Y'all, I am so glad you know, this week is almost over. I am so ready for the weekend. Like, I am super duper ready. Like, I'm for real. I'm ready for a vacation. I need a vacation. Even though I ain't got nowhere to go because you know what. But I still, I need a vacation. Let's make sure I ain't missing nothing. Come up with the female symbol? Okay. Yeah, I'm like, I need a day off. For real. Like, for real. I'm going to have to just take a description. Oh, while I got y'all here, let me let me, let me me say this to y'all, too. Because this is the second time this has happened to your girl. And I want to just put y'all on game. Hey, Cherry Ness TV. You don't never get no notifications? I don't know. You know, y'all know YouTube won't let you be great now. Now let me ask you guys when you when you go and you click on the notification, do you click for all the videos? Because you know it's one where you can just click the notifications, but then you can click for all. Because I think when you click for all, everything I do should pop up. But if you just click the notifications, everything I do will not come up. You will not be notified. Hi, simply you makeup. So it won't be notified. <clears throat> but let me put y'all on some game with some of these big companies. Because today was the second time a major big company did this to me. And um, they lying. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm about to spill the tea and it cut me right off. They said, oh, you're not going to tell on us. We're going to cut you off. How about that? The devil...
Oh, the, okay, okay. My collab won't be up until um, their collab had went up early. Our collab is supposed to go up today. So I do have a video coming up at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with be um, the Beauty Over 40 collab. So mine will be up then. Yeah, they're trying to silence me. Okay, y'all, let me tell y'all something. These big companies are, when you're not getting your packages delivered on time, and they want to try to tell, hey, Marlo, and they want to try to say, oh, it's the shipping company. It's the shipping company. It's not us. It's not us. Let me tell y'all something. When you're looking at a package and you track it, and that package, that when you track it and it says label printed, that don't mean anything. All that means is the company printed a label. That has nothing to do with um, them notifying the carrier to come and pick that package up. Because I had a company, I ain't going to say no name, but going to try to tell me the reason why I didn't get my package was because of uh, UPS. And I said, you a lie because you have not shipped out anything with us. And you're not going to tell me that you put a package out and it's been sitting there for three weeks and a UPS man has come there every day and he never picked it up. Lies you tell. You're right. They're just generating a tracking number. Right. But I think they're just saying that they say, they're they saying that to make you take the heat off of them and try to put it on the delivery company. Shame, shame, shame on y'all. So don't let them fool you. Because when you track your package, you can see when the courier actually picked the package up. So you could generate a tracking number two weeks from two weeks ago. But if you don't call it or you don't drop it off or don't have for a call tag, that don't mean nothing. Yeah, they be lying. Right. And they blame the pandemic. Yeah. Now I don't now the pandemic, yeah, but it, it's getting better. Cause I know y'all know I work for UPS. So it's getting better. So it's not like it was. Right. They definitely didn't get lost. So I just want to tell you guys that because I had a big company tell me that. And then I had um and y'all. We we about to say goodbye to Boxy Charm. Am I the only one that have not received their Boxy Charm for January? Right to make it seem like they yeah. They do that to make it seem like they ship out really quick. You no you you just print out a label. That's right, Cherry and STV. We are the best. Be quiet, Lala. Be quiet. Lala has been team um, no boxy charm for a while. So, you know, she don't like boxy charm at all. I have not received my boxy charm, and they're going to try to tell boxy charm with the other company. I'm just going to say it. But boxy charm going to try to tell me, you still waiting, Lynn? Okay. Going to try to tell me, oh, well, it's been shipped. Well, boo, when I went and looked at the tracking number that you gave me, it showed that you didn't even ship it out until the 26th. So, no, you can't blame that on shipping when you didn't ship it out until the 26th. I don't know if they changed owners. Shell, you left them last year? You said goodbye to Dr. Charm already? Yeah. So, yeah, Amazon drivers, they take pictures of their, yeah, stuff. Mm hmm Y'all, but if she bought out BoxyCharm? Wow. Wow, okay. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Before I get started, I'm going to use... Uh, my Vizio pilot that I got from BoxyCharm last month. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I know I'll be tripping my own stuff out. 
Hold on, y'all. Let me look at the comments. Let me show you the palette. This is the um the natural matte. So we're gonna go with a very simple look for today. But you know, I love these matte, I love their matte formula. So that's the palette we're gonna use. Hold on. Let me see what y'all say. Marlo says she left them in March. Oh, because I'm boxing charm and Ipsy, Ipsy joint for it. Okay. Six months ago. You're still getting a base and a premium. See, all I get, I went down to the premium box. Talking all that. I know, right? Right? And look at me. Yeah, you got the I got that one too. This one right here. Because, you know, you were able to buy one. And, you know, they messed my stuff up, but they did rectify it. You know, the customer service did reach out to me, you know, but she was trying to, y'all, she was trying me. That's the other one I have. She was, you know, she was trying to, you know, put it all on the shipper. I'm like, no. Nah. Hey, age gracefully. Age gracefully is another one of the beautiful ladies that's in the collab that I, I did. With beauty over 40 you guys my video will go up at 8 30 so when we get off this live make sure you go check out my video and y'all are gonna be so shocked at what your girl did on this video that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say thank you lala yes thumbs up the video okay let's talk about the collab everybody hey pauline you guys if you have not heard pauline's song if you not purchase Pauline's song, her and her sister to her dad, you guys have to definitely do that. Pauline, please put the information in the live. Um, let's talk about the collab. One, on my community page, I went in and I put um, all the categories, the name of the, um, the collab, as well as the two dates. So when I went back today to see which dates um, most of you guys preferred, most of you guys preferred the 11th. So February the 11th will be the upload day. Now, I was thinking that we could upload at noon, Eastern Standard Time. It, um, are you guys okay with those that wanted to participate? Are you okay with noon? I will be putting up another post on my community page with all of the ladies that have said they want to participate. So when you go in to do your description box, all of that information will be there. You'll know who's all involved. Yeah, I got to do, I think I got to do Amazon Music. Yeah, I got to do Amazon Music. Oh, you sing also? Yeah, Pauline, they, oh, man. And with that little, that Jamaican accent her father had, oh, my God, it was so nice. Very uplifting. So the name of the um, collab is my go-to brand, question mark, question mark, question mark. And then I have all the categories listed. We're going to do it on the 11th of February at noon Eastern Standard Time. And I will be putting up another post on my community page with a list of all the ladies that want to participate. How do what happen? They won't leave. Uh, try to get Alexa to play it and it wouldn't. I'm on my phone, so I can't do it. Am I gonna get a copyright for that? Oh wow! Oh, you sang sang. Y'all both sang. All right, y'all, let's start getting into this makeup because I'm not going to be on here long. So those are that's the, the information about the collab. You'll do it on your live. Okay, so Marlo says she'll play it on her live tomorrow because Marlo goes live um, at 6.30. Y'all, it's going to be a simple, simple look. Nothing special, but I do want to talk about something, y'all. Yes, definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. 
they don't have no names but um we're gonna use that as transition yeah i wanted to talk about something me and my sister was talking about this well she we were talking and she mentioned this she said something and it made me think um first of all let me just ask you guys do you believe in karma do you guys believe in karma okay yes yeah, simply you make up definitely check out the community page oh this is kind of light This is a little too light. This is a little too light. But I'm going to put a little bit over here too since I, you know. Hey, Monique. Okay, so yes, 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 absolutely. I like the qualities of the VC. Hold on. I don't want to go to Vizier Palette. I got, but it's not 80. Really? Oh, girl, I love Vizier. Yes, I believe in karma. Uh huh. I believe in whatever you do, whatever you sow, you would definitely reap. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so everybody pretty much says yes in here. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I believe in karma. And I promise you, I'll be the first one to be like, oh, yeah, karma going to get you. Like, you know, you know how you be sicking, sicking your dogs on people? I be sicking karma. Like, yeah, karma gonna get you. Wait till that karma come back and bite you in the butt. Like, I've said that a lot. I know I'm probably not the only one. Like, I have literally said that a lot. I know I have. Am I the only one? Okay, since so this color is a little lighty, light, light, I'm gonna go in with the one next to it and see if it's a little bit deeper. I'll... With the same brush. Yeah, there we go. There we go. If it doesn't get you, it'll get your offspring. See, I believe that too. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, you definitely got to watch what you do in, in your attention. Yep. Okay, so we're all on the same page. So my sister, when her and I was talking about something that she was going through. And she was like, yeah, it's probably just my karma. And when she said that, you guys, it made me think like, I know I'm, I'm quick to say karma is going to get somebody else. But do I ever recognize when karma is coming back on me? Do I ever recognize that? Do I acknowledge that? How she acknowledged it? I don't feel like I acknowledge like, oh, yeah, that's just karma. Do you, you guys see what I'm saying? Like we go through things and stuff happens to us and we get upset and, and we just, you know, oh my God, woe is me. But could it be karma coming back on us? Girl, stop trying to stop and stop and stop and stop it, um, uh, Monique. <laughs> <laughs> Monique is so funny. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, I right, make me, it really, when she said that, it really made me think like, dang, I never really, I, I believe in karma. I think other people's going to get karma, but I sure don't recognize karma coming on me. I don't think about what happens in my life as maybe this is my karma for something that I have done. Do you guys accept karma or do you recognize karma in your own life? I try my best to do stuff that will not make karma look for me. Yes, yes. Yes, that is true. I know, I know I do. But, um, you know, we human. I, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all know me, child. Honey. Thank you, Jesus, for grace and mercy. That's what I'm going to say. Because, child, boo. I have done some things. So why, Monique said, so why all the rich people I've talked about being rich haven't come back? Well, so why, I feel so crazy. I don't know. I hope that come. Right, I was young and a hot mess too, yeah. Right. 
Right. Thank you so much, H. Wastefully. Yeah, I'm sweating. These light got me hot. And I'm drinking coffee. Okay, sometimes it's hard to discern if the wrong changes is a blessing or a test. That that could be very true. If it's if it's karma or you just being tested. Yeah. Cause it, it, I do believe there is definitely a difference. I do believe it's a difference. But let me tell you what I what I learned from this conversation, you guys, from her. By her acknowledging that it could be her karma, the way she reacted to it was so different. It's like, instead of her saying, oh, woe is me, or being devastated by the situation, she just was like, hey, maybe it's my karma. And you got, I got to, you know, I got to go through it. You know what I'm saying? It's just how she, you know, how she accepted it. I was like, wow. Yeah, I was living very dangerously too, Monique. And I'm still learning. Yeah. Yes. But I think... My guilty conscience stops me from doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, now that I'm older, you know what I'm saying? Now that I'm older, but I'm gonna tell you, I was a young, I was a young fool. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, I have done things that I am ashamed of, you know what I'm saying? I have been very hot-headed and acted out of emotions instead of sitting back and evaluating the situation and made a a more rash, I mean, more uh, conscious decision. I just was like, what? What'd you say? You want something? You, you don't want this. This was not what you want, but I'll give it to you. Because my mouth, y'all, I'm going to promise you, I'm going to tell you, I have, God has delivered me and brought me a long way, but I do know that this tongue of mine has put damage on people. And so when things come back to me verbally, I maybe have to recognize maybe that's karma. Exactly, Monique. Exactly. Yes, it is, Lala. It was so, I'm telling you, when she said it, it was like, when she said it, I was just like, because we were FaceTiming each other. And I was just kind of like, Wow. You know, I didn't say anything to her at that moment because you guys know I'm a processor. I, I gather, I'm a gatherer of information. Then I sit back and process and then, it, you know, that's how I get, you know, I function. But afterwards, I was really just like, wow. Like, and what she was going through, you guys, wasn't no little stuff. It wasn't no, like, it wasn't little, you know? And I would just... Like, man, but sometimes when you react out of emotion, if you are able to calm down in your own part of the issue, that's exactly sharing this to you. And that's what I have had to learn that, um, and you know, I have friends here will tell you, you know, I have to sit and think, you know, like if I say something or I do something and then I come back and be like, okay. What role did I play? And a lot of times now that I'm older, I get myself, I have a 24 hour rule. I don't know, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I have a 24 hour rule. If you anger me, if I get angry now, I have to give myself 24 hours before I can address you. Because if I don't, I, I you know, hey, shoot lady. If I don't, you know what I mean? It, it's, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, it's just be raw emotion. You know what I mean? It'll be raw emotion. If I give myself 24 hours, I still might come to you harshly or, you know, I might be still angry, but it would, it's, it's, it's a totally, it's definitely a difference. It's a difference. So I, but I had to learn that, you know, even, you know, I've been married 30 years, y'all. I've been married 30 years and I promise you. I was not a good wife in the beginning. I'll tell everybody that I was a terrible wife when I first got married. And my mouth, my mother would tell me, Lori, if you would just shut up. But I couldn't, y'all. My mouth would just give me all kinds of trouble. 
And I'm talking about you, your mama. Yeah, I mean, I'm, girl, it was terrible. Oh, my mama will tell you, Monique, my mother will tell you, I was, um, I've come a long way and I'm thankful to God for that. Right. And Shell, I promise you, give yourself 24 hours because that 24 hours allows you to calm down. That 24 hours allows you to look at the situation and also realize what role did I play? You know what I mean? But if you react right in the moment, I try hard not to react in the moment because when I react in the moment, I am not thinking about my role. All I'm thinking about is the offense that you've done to me, you know? But yeah, I know. I, I just thought that was very fascinating. Y'all, I'm going to go in there with this color right here. It's like a burnt, like orangey color. Ooh, that's so pretty. You know what? I don't want to do that. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. I want it right here. Right here. Let me see if I can. Can I wash that away? I, I got an idea. There. It's gone. Right, Monique, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But if I'm in that area, if if my if I'm in that mindset, well, what it was okay. It is it's gonna be what it's gonna be. That's why I do not I give myself the 24 hours. But yes, it's crazy. But I, I, I just thought it was fascinating that we always think about karma as it being somebody else's punishment, you know rarely do we think the, of karma coming knocking at our own door. This is the um, Viseart matte palette, the natural matte palette. Like we don't, we don't think of it as karma coming for you, you know? And what I think, you know, like so, I forgot who said it. It's a difference between being tested and karma. It is a difference. But even in both of those situations, I feel like if you feel like you're being tested, how you go through a test says a lot. And I feel like if it is karma, how you deal with that should say a lot as well. You know what I mean? I'm going to go with this darker brown shade, y'all, on the outer V. Yeah, it's a full matte palette. Uh-huh. And this out of this brown is still not giving me what I want. So I'm gonna add um well, I'm gonna try to build it up and see. And I think we need to teach our children karma. Let them know that, you know, you just can't be out here just doing anything and don't think, hey Lisa. Anything is not, you know, things are not going to come back on you because they will, like they truly will. And then you have to accept it when it comes back to you, when karma comes knocking on the door, you have to accept it. You have to say, okay, it is what it is. I did what I did. And now I got to pay for it. Oh, you just linked the song? Right. Oh, never eat rice with a hot mouth. I'm going to start saying that because you can't, y'all... This little time, this, ooh, child. Never eat rice with a hot mouth. Because you cannot, I love her song, you cannot take that stuff back. Folks feel like karma is for other person. Not, yes, yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. Karma is always for the other person, not you, though. No, not me. Karma ain't for me. Yeah, boo, karma for you, too. But how many, you know, like, like, you know, how often do we actually recognize it and accept and understand what's going on in our lives? 
that, hey, this could just be some karma. And it ain't a pretty pill to swallow. It ain't comfortable. It's not comfortable by any means, you know? When we're being tested, it's not comfortable at all. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to build this color up. Yeah, it's not comfortable, but I just thought it was fascinating that she was able to really just take ownership of it. I was just like, wow. Like, she just took ownership of it. Like, hey, it could be karma. I was like, oh, I've never said that before. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I have never said in my 50 years of life that something I was going through could be me getting karma. I've never said it. Hey, Rose. She said, told you not good. girl." But see, that's the thing. Uh, who's sharing this? You have to build it up. And then, of course, you know my skin tone. Yeah, she said, told you. <laughs> Can y'all hear us, baby? I don't know why he making all that noise out there. His karma going to be, I'm going there and black his eye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I get it from my mama. I get it from my mama. If y'all see how cute my mama is. Y'all will understand. And I'm very blessed and fortunate. It runs on both sides of my family, on my dad's side as well as my mother. I got some aunties that's fine as wine. And you would be like, 80 years old? I'd be like, mm-hmm. Hey, Lynette. I'd be like, yep, that's what that 80, that's what 80 look like. I said, oh. I just pray them jeans stay with me. Hey, Tammy. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Right here. Hey, Vicky J. I'm going to put it right there, y'all, next to this, um, the brown. See Cherry Nest TV? Look at that, girl. Look at that. Yeah, for those that just came in, what we're talking about is karma. And do you accept karma when it comes back on you? Hey, Ashley. You know, are you accepting it when it comes on back on you? Or do you even recognize that some things in your life could be just simply you getting karma? <laughs> She's like, too much work. And I'm be honest, I never really did. I was the first one to sit karma on somebody, but I was not actually recognizing it on for you know if it's coming back in my own life. Because you know, who wants to see themselves as the villain? Sometimes I notice when it it's okay. Yeah. I never, I'm telling you, I never did. It's like, I, when my sister said it, yeah, it's showing up now. Um, when my sister said it, you, those that just came in, my sister and I were having a conversation and she was going through some stuff and she was saying that maybe it's just her karma. And I was like, wow. And the way she reacted to the situation and how she dealt with the situation was so different. It was like, um, Instead of a woe is me, why this happened to me, she just, just took like, hey, it might be just my karma. Like, I just got to go through it. And I was just like, wow. I never thought like that. My, I was never, I never thought it like that. When I'm going through something, it's like, oh, Jesus, Lord, you know. Never have I thought that it could be karma. The karma you receive will surely make you change. Yes, I believe that. 
Do unto others, you would have them do unto you. Yes. You never recognize it? Yeah. Me either, you know? And my thing is, <clears throat> now, you know, all of us here in this room, we're older women. So we don't act the way that we act when we're in our 20s. You know what I'm saying? Or even early 30s. Some of us in our 40s, you know what I mean? But when you get older, you get more mature, you get wiser, you start thinking differently, you do things differently. But all that hot mess that you had back in your 20s, you, 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 you got to still answer for that stuff. And I do believe in asking God for forgiveness. I do believe in that. And asking God to forgive me for my sins. I do believe in that. But what you uh, reap, you sow, sow. What you sow, you sow, reap. That's in the word too. And I just think that if we can start looking at things and not, not accepting everything as karma, I'm not saying that, but even just to question it, you know what I mean? Just to say, could, could it be, you know, could it maybe? Yeah. Some people that's y'all, let me tell you Lynette, that is one of my fears. I do not want to be an old fool. Mm -mm. I know some old fools and I do not want to be. That's one of my things like, no, 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 no. I don't want to be an old fool. Okay, y'all. I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Right. But forgiveness doesn't mean you don't still have to deal with the consequences. Yes, sharing this. Yes. Y'all, I love me a light lid. What time is it? Okay, I got to get off here in an hour, too. Right, I do. I just be like, oh, boy. I'm telling y'all, that is one of my, you know, I do not, I, I want to grow. I want to be a better version of myself. I don't want to just be the same me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. No, no, no. Absolutely not. That's not what I want in my life. And I know it takes time and I know you have to put in the effort and you, you got to make the changes. You got to do the work. But I don't want to be an old fool. Oh, you got my husband has a foot massager. I'm so grateful. God is so good because that means I don't have to massage his feet no more. Yeah. Yeah, but I just I just wanted to talk about that, y'all, because I just found that to be interesting. And like we said earlier, there is a difference between like karma and being tested. I believe that too. But I do believe, you know, you reap what you sow. But I believe also now by looking at my sister that when you accept some things and accept, re accept responsibility, when you're going through some difficult times, it makes it a little easier because you don't feel like the victim. Because, you know, when you have that victim mentality and you're going through something, you go do it differently. You move through it differently. And the way she did it was just so graceful. I'm like, wow, okay. I'm going to go back in with this orange color. And like we were saying earlier, we have to teach our children and so that they can know that, that you know, it's no free passes. You can't just be out here just willy-nilly doing stuff and think, you know, your decisions don't have effect on your life down the line, you know? I'm liking this, y'all. I'm liking this. Let me clean this up, though. And a little bit more of that brown. Push it down in there. I 
And I'm going to clean it up with a lighter shade. And for those that just came in, if you're wanting to be a part of the collab, we will be doing the collab. I will do another post. It will be on the um, February the 11th, and we're going to upload at noon Eastern Standard Time. And all the information of everybody that's participating will be in the new post that I put up on my community page. I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm just kind of like cleaning up this look. And I think too, like with my sister, it took, it's maturity, I think too. Because when you're younger, you ain't thinking about no karma. Especially not for yourself. Not coming back on you. Well, I'm going to say me. I ain't going to speak for nobody else. I'm not going to speak for no one else. Because I'm going to be honest, I was hard-headed, you know. I'm like, I got to experience it for myself. You, I don't want to hear what I need to know for, for myself. But I will say this. Once I learned the lesson, I didn't have to keep going back and forth at it. That for sure. I was not the kid that kept getting whooped for the same thing over and over again. Okay. Oh, Chris, I didn't see no comments, huh? Yes, thank Ooh, Monique. Yes, thank God for grace and mercy. Good night, Lynette. But we still have his forgiveness, exactly. All right, y'all, what y'all think about this eye look? I'm liking this. Simple. Very simple, y'all. But I love the bright eye, that portion of the eye. I think that's so pretty. Y'all have y'all have checked out my Tom Ford um, video, how to buy a Tom Ford video um, on a budget? If not, check that video out. And if you have a cosmetic store in your area, I suggest you go check them out because they had them for 60% off plus an additional um, 10%. I think it's going until, I think the end of the month. And if you don't have one near you, I did put the information. I pinned a comment for my local store because she said that you can call and place orders on the phone. So I did put that information down there. And it's not sponsored or nothing like that. I'm just trying to, you know, help y'all out. Okay, y'all, let's do the face right quick. Put on some concealer. And while I'm doing that, please let me know what you guys got going on video-wise for the week. I have a video coming on at 8.30 tonight. It's a collab video that I did with Beauty Over 40. We did a collab. You know, you guys know we do a collab every month. I really like working with these ladies. They're super sweet. And some of the videos are already up, but um, we were supposed to upload today. We were gonna upload today. You went live and play with your new palettes. How's your nobody going, Mo Monique? You have nothing planned for the week. You just went live for me. Okay, you just went live. Okay, so Monique did a live, and Vicky J has just done a live. So definitely, you guys go check the replay and thumbs up. <coughs> foundation review friday for um lala i post a video every day oh simply you make up am i subscribed to you simply you make up 
Simply you make up. Simply you make oh. You in the beauty over 40 collab, right? I'm tripping. I'm tripping hard. I um I had a uh, my my under eyes have begun have starting to get super duper dry lately. So we're gonna go in with some mother. Who's ready for Friday? Friday, 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 Friday. Hey, I can't wait to Friday. Hey, mother is dropping. Um. She's dropping the Divine Rose palette. Okay, let's talk about this. Because somebody was giving me a hard time about this. So, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about this right quick. Okay. Mother is dropping the Divine Rose 2. But it's in that gorgeous pink packaging. Now, I have the Divine Rose 2. But it's in the black packaging. I want to get the new one in the pretty packaging and I said well maybe I'll find someone that be willing to buy mine that's in the black packaging but if not I'm still kind of on the fence of still wanting to buy the one in the new packaging what y'all think about that What's happening Friday, Monique? Patch dropping her new stuff. Oh, that pink packaging, yes. Am I gonna get it? Lori says, I know, I don't know, y'all. Okay, this is what I have on, on my list to get. The, definitely, I want the highlighter, and I definitely want the quad, and I want a liquid lipstick, because I don't remember her Having a liquid lipstick. I've had the lip glosses and the lipsticks, but if I'm wrong, you guys let me know. But I don't remember her having a liquid lipstick. I goodbye, Monique. You you getting put on punishment. No, it's um uh, it's not after pay, it's um a firm. You got to Google what it looks like. Yeah. It, it's the packaging. Oh, God. Do what you want with your money. I say if you can sell the other one, it will make more sense for your pocket. Yes. But if it's just the packaging. But it's just packaging to me. The content is the same. Yes, yes. I'm grabbing the highlighter. And oh, yeah, I want the quad. Yes. Or break up the payments and get the pink one. Yeah, I'm, I'm so tempted, y'all. I'm trying to be a grown-up. I'm trying to be responsible. I'm looking for my other concealer brush. That's what I'm doing, looking for. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. But, child. Now, has she ever had a liquid lipstick? I don't remember her ever having a liquid lipstick. Or did I just miss out on all of that? Because I don't remember a liquid, liquid lipstick. And Monique, you can't buy that anyway. You own a no-buy. I deserve to treat myself. Yes, I do. You can do for a firm for, uh, for payments up to a year. Okay. Yes, yes, Vicky J. That highlighter, oh, I cannot wait to get that on my face. Like, that's the, to be honest with you, out of everything she got coming out, that's what I'm the most excited about, other than the pretty packaging. But really, as far as the actual products, I'm the most excited about that, um, that highlighter. You don't remember liquid lipstick? Yeah, I'm, that's why I'm on the. I'm want to pick up. I, I know she has a new lipstick coming out, but 
Um, I've tried her lipstick formula, but I've never tried a liquid lipstick, a liquid lipstick formula from her. So that's what I'm gonna do as far as lippy. So it's gonna be the liquid lipstick, the highlighter, and I do want the quad. Also, Monique, you just shopping. Oh, this is Mother. Yes, I love Mother's her her concealer. Yes. And when my under eyes acting crazy, I definitely need a very well moisturizing um, concealer. And I feel like Mother definitely is it. Yes. This is in, um, and I don't really like a bright under eye. So I think this is either in the shade thirty. Yes, right, Monet. You you being honest about it. That's right. I don't got my glasses on, y'all. It's either 30 or 29. Those are the two shades I have. And I always like to use my, my concealer to clean up my eyeshadow looks. See, I just want a really simple look. A real simple eye look. But with that lightness, I love that little pop. And y'all, who else besides me been loving this Fenty powder. I called my mother and told my mama about it. I was like, Ma, you got to get this. Oh, you got new liquid lipstick? I'm affiliated with the lip bar. I need to go see what they got going on. I like their formula too. Yes. I'm going to set... I, I want to try something different, y'all. I'm going to set my under eye with this powder. I've never set my under eye with this powder, but I want to try Yes, this Fenty powder, the Fenty powder, she she did that. Y'all so unorganized. Oh, I know where is that because it's in this. Where's my brush? What is that? What is what? Oh, this is the um Giorgio Armani, 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 I can't talk. And it's the Neo Nude Powder in 11.5. I'll let you see it. That's what it looks like. And I've been using it to set the center portion of my face. And I have really been liking it. And I was looking for my other brush, but I don't see it, so... Oh, I need a fluffy brush. Y'all, I am surely, truly, I have put some stuff to the side. You know how you do a video and you put the stuff in a basket because you know you got to go in and put the description box? And I thought I put it in this bag, but it ain't in here. Oh, well. Oh, here it goes, right here in my face, y'all. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Girl, that's good, Cherry, Cherry Nuts TV. Oh, you can't get the shade? Yeah, I definitely suggest you go in and get, get um your shade match because unbelievably, mine's actually is the same color of my foundation but because everybody else video i've watched theirs were not so when i went to get my match i didn't even go for my foundation shade i was going for all other kind of shades up and down and then i finally just said let me try the shade i normally wear and that's actually what ended up working but i'm i'm in the minority most people said that it's not it's not like that for them Hey, mama. My mother's in the room. So, Monique, what question you have for my mama? Because she in the room. Mama, Monique is in the room thinking she, um, you finna spill the tea. You can spill the tea because you know I'm open book. Hey, Tish. It's the concealer is by um, Pat McGrath. 
And I wear the shades 29 and um, 30. So Monique, what you want to ask my mama? Okay, so I wear the shade 13. They don't seem to have 13 powder, so I'm uh, thinking 14. Okay. And I like to kind of like buff out around where my concealer is, you guys, before I put that powder on. Yeah, my mama in the room. I told him early, I get it. Okay, so what you got to ask my mama? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, what's that, mama? When did you, Lori, get? I wasn't using it. Let me say this. When it comes to my mother, my mama can walk up to me and knock me out, and I'll just be knocked out, period. I'm not, you know, we I ain't, ain't no disrespect with my mama. None at all. But have I got popped in the mouth, girl? Yes, absolutely. But I tell you, I'm a, I was a quick learner. Not only did I get popped in the mouth, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a story one time. I had stayed with my father, and I had came back to live with my mother. And, you know, as a kid, you be trying it. And so I don't know what happened, but I got mad at my mama, and I slammed the bathroom door. Y'all, I slammed that door like, bam! So my mom was like, Lori, don't you slam that door no more. Well, you know me. I'm going to open it up again, y'all, and slam it again. Bam! Slam it again. Y'all? Okay, let me just let y'all just give y'all the setup. Okay, so here was the door. And the tub was right here. I don't know how she did it, but all I know is she came in and, and pimp slapped me so hard to where I flew back into the tub and my legs was dangling over the tub and my body was sitting in the tub. After that, I learned real quick, we don't be disrespectful. Yeah, not with my mama, everybody else. Yeah, now everybody else could get it. My mom, not my mama. Girl, my mom wasn't playing no games. Do you hear me? She didn't play. When, and I'm talking about, you know, like, wow. I learned very quickly. Now, my brothers, on the other hand, they was a little hard-headed. Me? Mm-mm. I wasn't getting whooped for the same stuff over and over again. My mama did not have to. Now, mama, you my witness. Was I getting whooped for the same things over and over again? I'm let her answer. And me and my mom are best friends. That's my boot right there. But I don't play no, she don't play no games. And I don't play no games when it comes to respect my mama. Now, other people, uh, that's why I have to use the 24-hour rule for other folks. See, my mama said no. You only got spanked three times, Marlo? Oh, well, no, I know it was more than that for me, but. Yeah, it wasn't for the same thing, though. Y'all, do you see, Mama, this is the foundation I was telling you about. Do y'all see how this foundation looks? When you slim the door now. Girl, let me tell you. <laughs> when I tell you, now I'll slam the door here now, but when I tell you, that's something that never happened again? Uh-uh. Never. Never. I didn't do that again. Never again, honey. I learned that. You was a quick learner, too? Yeah. I was a quick learner. I'm like, oh, you do that? You get your butt whooped. No. Uh-uh. But let me tell y'all something. I thank God that my mother disciplined me because some of these kids, honey, I'd be like, um, they need a whooping. I love this foundation. Uh, and, y'all, I take it and I just kind of like buff it in, but I'm sweating a little bit because of these lights. But 
Girl. Said my mama had that look. Yeah, girl, the look. Have y'all ever, okay, y'all church goers, all the church ladies, how many of y'all be in the church and your mama in the choir stand, you cutting up and you get that eye to eye contact and you know you better shut up real quick. <laughs> oh, she would do the pinch with the twist. Yes. Listen to Marlo. I was the favorite. Get out, Marlo. No. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm done with that. I don't know why I be buffing in it so much. Is look at the usher? Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly, Monique. Um, Paulie's got my father's a bishop. Once he gives you that look in church, you know, right. You're going to get it after church, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, you guys, if you have not tried this Fenty Foundation... I'm telling you, you definitely need to try it. But see, I was a kid that would come. I was the, me and my mom had, because we, we were, she had me younger. And so I was that kid, like, y'all, I would go to my mom and be like, Ma, I'm pregnant. <laughs> it got to the point where I would do it so much. She'd be like, girl, shut up and get out of my room. Just shut up and get out of my room. You know, I was that kid. And then, like, we had a curfew. Yes, I am. Right, exactly, Tish. Y'all gonna go in with the Tom Ford. And this is the um the cheek and eye palette that I got for $37 or $39. I got it upside down, but I'm gonna go in with this blush. I know it looks real light. You were still scared, girl. I would tell my mama I was pregnant all the time. I'd be like, Ma, I got to talk to you. What? I'd be like, I'm pregnant. Girl, my mama scared me, honey. She scared. She she gave me the talk. Yeah, we could talk about anything. I would never. That's one thing I would say with my mom. It was never nothing I didn't feel like I could go and have that conversation with my mother. Y'all, so this is the blush that I'm putting on. Like, I could tell her about anything. Like, when she even told me about, you know, the first time and all that, she scared me so bad, y'all. I thought, oh, mm -mm, I ain't doing that. And I waited a long time. Oh, Marlo said, girl, I got pregnant as a teenager. I had my grandmother tell my father, girl... So you still scared? Yeah. I don't even know. I mean, we, you know, she was my mother. I mean, she's my mother, of course, you know what I'm saying? But, and she didn't play no games. It was all, you know, respect or whatever. But the door was always still open to be able to go and have those kind you know, and just talk. Like, my mom is my best friend now. That's my homie. My mom didn't talk about anything to us. No boys, no dating. No looking, no touching, no laughing, no dreaming, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, see, yeah, my mama told girl. Mama, I don't know if you even remember. My mama gave me an illustration. I remember. I can't do it because we on YouTube, but you know what I'm saying. The size of one thing and the size of another thing coming together. And I was like, ooh, no, I'm not. That's going to hurt. I'm not doing that. Yeah, you def I believe you definitely have to have that type of rapport with your children because, like, me and my nephew, you know I'm raising my nephew, and he and I were talking because, <laughs> y'all, I'm telling y'all all my business today. Today is tell Lord business. Um, but we were having a conversation because it was something on his bed. And I said, what are you in here doing, you know? He was like, why would you say something like that? I'm like, uh, you a boy.
Oh, that's so sweet. So she was ready to be a grandma. Yeah, Monique, it, I think we, you as parents, you definitely have to come because like I told Xavier, I said, Xavier, you have to talk to me because what happens is you're going to get information from school that's going to be incorrect. So i rather I give you the information and even though you might be embarrassed by it, um, it's better for it to come from me and it's correct information versus it being the wrong information. And, you know, you out here in these streets doing stupid stuff. All right, y'all, so I'm using that color as a base. So this is a really pretty simple, just a flusher color on my cheek. Do y'all see it? I didn't put no bronzer on, y'all. I'm doing my makeup all backwards because y'all got me out here telling all my business. Bae? Oh, that's my husband, y'all. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely have to talk to the kids. Y'all, I'm using Natasha Denona. Mickey J was telling me forever about this Natasha Denona. I finally got on board and I, I cannot even imagine not even having it. I'm going to have to bring it up into that blush some. This is so simple, y'all. Simple, pretty look. Yeah, you go, I agree with that. When 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 parents hold, hold kids too tightly, and then when they get out, they, they go buck wild. You would have handled that talk with your mom. Well, I mean, it happened so quick. It was right there in the moment, Lala. So it was just like, I just had to deal with it, you know. I just had a birth control debate with my 30-year-old son. Of the Yeah, you have had them conversations. Oh, uh, see, exactly. He had misinformation. Very heated. That's so true, Monique. All right, y'all, I'm going to go in with the um, incandescent shade. Oh, this is not even the right thing. Hold on. <clears throat> I must have it in the wrong box. Yep, I had it in the wrong box. Y'all, this is so pretty. So pretty right here. I'm going to use this as a topper. Yeah, you definitely have to have that open door. And I'm going to use it as the highlighter too. But I am putting it on top of where that blush was at and up. Isn't that pretty and simple, y'all? It's not overly done. It's just enough. And that's the vibe I get with Tom Ford. Tom Ford is not that Instagram makeup. Tom Ford is, to me, a soft, everyday look makeup. You can get a nice, soft glam, too. But it's, it's definitely not that Instagram makeup. Yeah, my video should be live. Uh-huh. Yeah, we live. Yes, it does bake formula right, yes. And it feels so light. It don't feel heavy on your face. It's just beautiful. Do you see that, that glow, you guys? It's just a nice, subtle glow, but it's so pretty. So pretty. Let me put on an eyeliner and some mascara, y'all. I got to get out of here. I always say, and we 10 minutes over. I'm trying, you guys, I'm trying to keep these lives to an hour. Not go over an hour. I'm going to use, I don't even belong right there. Where's my black coffee? Oh, here it is, black coffee. Hey, Lily. 
How you doing, baby girl? And another thing, since my niece is here, I think also raising a kid is a family event. It's not just the mom and dad. It's the whole family has to be involved. Like your child needs to know that if you mess up, mama is not, mom and daddy ain't the only ones that could check you. Everybody in the family could check you. And when you disrespect one of us, you have disrespected all of us. And I think that's something that we're missing. See that eyeliner just, this is Pat McGrath Black Coffee. And once I put some mascara on, and I'm gonna throw on a lip gloss, y'all, and I'm good. Girl, that's how I was. Girl, my mama used to have spies. When I say spies, we had spies that would tell on us. Because you know when your mama tell you not to go outside while she at work? And you go outside anyway. And then you try to figure out how she know I was outside. Because we got spies on, on, the, on the street telling on you. This is the NARS. Yeah, it takes a village. Y'all had spies? Yeah, we had spies. My mama had spies. This is the Climax Extreme. Yeah, they would tell on us. But see, nowadays, you know, it's, it's not the same. People don't want you to say nothing to their kids or nothing. Yes, church members, yeah. Everybody, you know, you're you going to get it from, you're going to get it from them, and then when you get home, you're going to get it. Yeah, church, my mama said, yes, church for real. My mama. <laughs> BJ and Betty Hutchison. Y'all, I'm done. Let me put on a lip gloss. And then we got to go. Y'all, this was a great conversation. So as a recap, don't forget if you want to be a part of the collab, the information will be in the community page. We're doing it on the 11th at 12 noon. Um, Yes, my mama in the community. We didn't go anywhere without somebody recognizing who, right? See, so y'all couldn't get away with nothing. Thank you. Let me put on a lip gloss right quick. This is a Pat McGrath lip gloss. I don't got my glasses on, y'all. The mascara, oh, yes. I love that NARS mascara. Simple lip, you guys. Just a simple lip. Because, you know, you're putting mask on anyway. But with this look, I feel like this is a nice, simple look, nude lip with a little bling. And this is, um, let me see if I get my glasses. So I can tell y'all what it is. You're loving the hourglass mascara? I haven't tried hourglass mascara. Hourglass is in the doghouse. Oh, thank you, boo. Thank you, Lily. They need to do better with their shades. Thank you, guys. Um, I was going to try to tell you guys what this was, but... I don't know if it's going to... I can't see. Y'all know I don't got no glasses on. And I can't find my glasses sitting next to me. But uh, once the live goes up, I will link everything in the description box. Those links are, um, will be affiliate. That means that I will receive a commission if you decide to purchase through those links. Um, and if not, girl, just buy how you normally buy. You know, y'all know how, how it is. But, y'all, that's it. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. And... Let us always think about karma. Thank you. What goes around comes around. So let's try to live our lives to where 
we won't have to deal with a whole lot of karma, okay? And yes, I gotta go to work, thank you. And um, I just appreciate you guys and make sure you're supporting one another and um, check out the lives. Pauline, you don't have anything coming up this week? Lala has, on Friday, she does foundation. Vicky J did a live tonight. Monique did a live tonight. Um, Ashley, I know she does lives throughout the week, so go and check the recaps for them. I have a video coming up. It should be live right now, so when y'all leave, go check out my video, okay? All right, good night, y'all. So to all my new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you, and if you haven't subscribed yet, girl, hit that button so that I can save you a seat at the Grown Women's Table and until the next video. Bye-bye, ladies. Bye, Shell. Bye, Pauline, Sherry Ness TV, Monique, Roberta, Lala, Lily. Mommy, Locke, who else was in here? Um, Marlo, Tish, Shanna, um, who, am I missing anybody else that was in here right now? Everybody that showed up, thank you so very much. Love you, Lily. Vicky J. Age gracefully. Don't forget to check out the videos for the ladies also. Tish, my sweetie. I think that's it.